Hello everyone, welcome back. I want to talk to you guys today about this Ruger MPR. Uh, this is my most accurate rifle. Um, I hit a new personal best today. Three shot group right there. Half an inch at 100 yards. Okay, so a, a half MOA group. Now, um, this with this rifle, I will consistently hit one inch groups with, with match ammo. I, I shot this with the 77 grain Sierra Match Kings. Uh, I'll also routinely hit it with x tax I'll get inside of a one, you know, I'll get about one inch. Um, now, getting inside of one inch, right, is it, hard, right? Even with the match grade ammo. The biggest variable getting inside of one inch is me. I mean, I'm just not always going to be, I'm not going to be shooting my best. Um, so I'm a big variable when you're trying to get inside of one inch at 100 yards. Uh, the other variable is the wind, okay? When you're trying to get inside of one inch, uh, wind will make a difference, right? If you're trying to hit a man-sized target at 100 yards, yeah, wind's not going to make a difference. Even if it's 10 mile per hour wind, it's not going to make a difference. You're still going to, you're still going to get inside. But if you're trying to get inside of one inch, wind even a light wind is going to make a difference okay so uh a couple of other groups i did here today um with the x tac you can see one inch over there over here it opened up i got about two inches over here here uh, so that's x tac that's x tac this one over here is with the 77 grains i'm at an inch and a half okay um over here uh that's also with the 77 grains uh that's one inch so you got one inch there and then you got the the half inch down here okay um so excellent rifle and here's the thing um this is a budget rifle this is a i bought this for about 620 dollars right um this is this has a cold hammer forged barrel 18 inch cold hammer forged barrel uh, the one issue with the 18 inch barrel is that it is front heavy all right it is a little bit front heavy but um you know it does give you a little bit more velocity this does come with a muzzle brake that I took off. I hated the muzzle brake. Uh, it just made the gun unburnt. I mean, it just made it louder than it needed to be. The recoil is pretty much nothing. So I took off the muzzle brake. I put on the standard bird cage. And uh, it, it comes with a two-stage uh, trigger. Um, but, you know, it, does it come with the stock? Yeah, I think it comes with the stock. It comes with this Magpul stock. Um, now, I did put the... Uh, ambidextrous charging handle on this because of the scope that I have on it. It's easier to, you know, to grab. And uh, now the scope that's on it uh, is the Primary Arms M8, um, and this is a $1,500 scope, right? $15 scope, uh, probably $1,600 with the mount. So it's kind of funny. We got a $1,600 scope on a, on a, basically a $600 rifle, and I've had people tell me that they've seen this for $500 from time to time. If you see this for $500 grab it don't even question it just grab it 500 dollars. you got a rifle here that shoots half inch groups at 100 yards grab it okay um now the scope that's on it uh is not going to make you a better shooter i mean if you i mean i, I mean i've shot one inch groups with this even when i had a dot with a, a magnifier so 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 the, the you know i mean you don't need a 1500 dollars scope um to um you know to, you know to shoot this half inch group now but the interesting point here is though why do i have a 1500 dollars scope on a 600 dollars rifle okay because here's the thing the price it, it's not a question of price because this rifle here that shoots a half inch group this ar with the 18 inch cold hammer forged barrel yeah yeah today it's only five six hundred dollars but if you were to go let's say um back 15 20 years to get a rifle an AR rifle specifically that shot that shoots like that, you would have had to pay two thousand dollars plus. Okay, so just because this costs five to six hundred dollars today doesn't mean that that's the value of the rifle, right? This is this is a rifle. The value of this rifle is a rifle that shoots a half inch group uh, at a hundred yards. That's the value of the rifle, not whether it's you're paying five hundred dollars for it or you're paying two thousand dollars for it. Now, if you can get it for five hundred dollars or even six hundred dollars, grab it. Okay, now. Interesting thing is the scope, yeah, fifteen hundred dollars scope. I, you know, basically, right now as far as one to eight, uh, this is what I think is like top of the line. Um, as far as all the features that I need, right, with the, um, you know, it, it, it's you know able to do range estimation, wind holes. I mean, there are cheaper options out there, but I mean, I wanted a lot out of the scope. So, so the, the, the point I'm trying to bring out here is that um, the price difference, right, 
is affected by time, okay? So I think that this is probably like, because here's the thing, let's put it this way. Uh, AR technology is not really advancing at a really rapid pace, right? Um, this, the, the AR-15 was developed back in the, um, in the 19, mid-1950s, and it's developed along the line. I mean, it's at a point right now where, uh, you know, you got economies of scale, lots of companies are making this, improving upon this, it, just doing fine tweaks to make it a little bit more accurate, okay? Uh, the scopes, on the other hand, they're going through a much faster uh, rate of development, okay? So, um, so that's the difference uh, in the price, right? Why, why the rifle is five to six hundred dollars, whereas the scope is like fifteen hundred dollars. Uh, it's not to say that the two don't belong together, because um, it, you know it's it's a, it's a half MOA rifle. Um, I think it deserves a good scope, and, and and you don't need an expensive scope to be able to hit those groups. It's like, but I'm just the reason why I have is I'm not just looking to get. You know, I'm, I'm not just looking for accuracy at 100 yards. I'm looking to to, to shoot way beyond that, um, like at 500 yards plus with a 5.56, five, um, and be able to do range estimation, wind holes, that kind of stuff. So that's why I want it, but you don't need it. But I would definitely say grab grab the rifle. When you see this out there for $500 or even $600, grab it. Half-inch rifle, um, you, you're going to be happy with it. Uh, Recommend you take the muzzle brake off. You don't need it. It's annoying. Just put on a regular bird cage. To do that, what you, what I did is I wrapped the barrel over here. Uh, I wrapped the barrel and I put this in the vise, like right here. I didn't have to take the. I didn't even remove this. I was able to just uh, get this corner over here in the corner of the vise. You know, wrap this and then put a wrench on it. Don't put this like between your legs, and because then you'll you'll you'll, you'll torque the um, you know the uh, the receivers. Don't do that. Put the barrel, clamp this over here in the vise. You know, wrap this, clamp this in the vise, then remove the uh, um, the muzzle brake and just put on a regular uh, bird cage with a crush washer. Uh, but really happy with this. Definitely recommend this. This is uh, like my best shooting rifle, half inch. And I'm gonna say that I'm planning to do a separate video over here. I mean, over here I've got a, a, a 223 Wild, right? So the 223 Wild is supposed to be a little bit more accurate now. I shot it today. The best group I got with the 223 Wild uh, was uh, an inch and a quarter. Now, th this barrel's got less than 50 rounds on it, so I don't know if there's a breaking period that you know I got to work through. I, I don't know, but but I shot this back and forth a couple of times. Uh, I was definitely hitting boom better with the Ruger MPR. Um, now this does have a couple of thousand rounds on it, probably two to three thousand rounds at this point. I mean, this is not. A gun that like I just sit there and just like blast away at targets at 30 um, at, at 30 yards uh, this is a barrel that you know I use mostly for distance shooting um, occasionally I'll put in a, a 22 conversion bolt though uh, just because of the scope that's on it, it gives it gives me a chance to practice uh, with the 22 that can be distance with that scope uh, but anyway I, I just wanted to put that out there make sure you you know if you guys are interested in this Ruger MPR uh, go back and, and and find my older videos um, there's uh just just search my channel name whatever i've got above uh or, or poker shooting or tsafa right t-s-a-f-a and ruger mpr right if you search those two search terms together uh you should find my my videos videos on this ruger mpr where you know i've, I've talked a lot about in the past so thanks for watching and i will talk to you all soon